All right, thank you. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. And uh, so, um, yeah, I will be giving an update on GTEx, uh, the uh, Genotype and Tissue Expression Program. So GTEx is an NIH Common Fund program, and the co-chairs are Dr. Green and Dr. Insel. Um, the two leading IC are NHGRI and NIMH. Um, NCI has played a very important role in this project as well. We have a very engaged working group uh, at the NIH, which has a lot of people, a lot of members from different ICs. So the goal of GTEx is to establish a resource database and tissue bank in which we study the relationship between genetic variation and gene expression in reference known diseased uh, human tissues. Right now we are collecting over 30 tissues in a rapid autopsy setting and we are performing RNA sequencing on uh, all the samples that are of enough good quality. And while we expect at some point to probably do some uh, um, sequencing of the blood DNA, we are right now performing high density SNP genotyping and uh, with the Lumina 5M as well as an exome chip. So GTEx started as a pilot uh, in 2010, ended last year as a pilot in 2012 and the recruitment and RNA quality goals, which were the main concern for full implementation of this program, were met. The goal for recruitment, for example, was to be able to enroll at least 10 donors by the end of the pilot, by the end of the month uh, the pilot, of the pilot. And as you can see from this graph, uh, really, which shows the number of donors, donors by month, we were able to achieve this goal on average. And uh, the RNA quality goals, which I mentioned before, were met as well as measured by the RIN values. GTEx, at the end of the scale up, we can imagine being a resource which will provide really an atlas of human gene expression in addition to uh, provide a comprehensive cis and trans EQTL result for each tissues. The research at the end will include um, around 900 post-mortem donors completely genotyped. We are um, expecting to collect over 25,000 tissues and being able to hopefully perform RNA sequencing on almost all of them. We are also um, expecting to have uh, associated clinical and histopathological data available for these samples. And being able to provide a system to access uh, both data and uh, samples. We are also performing an a, analysis study of donor's family and results from that study will be available as well. Well, GTEx is a very complex program and has a lot of moving parts. So I'm going to go briefly over the component of GTEx. Uh, organ um, donor enrollment um, is uh, done through organ procurement organization and tissue banks. Uh, we have right now two sites that are enrolling donors. We have a sample and a data repository. We have a very a highly engaged uh, team of pathologists which are reviewing each sample they receive. These activities are coordinated and managed uh, by NCI through the CA Hub initiative. We have also brain bank where the brains with the, that are um, um, collected at the sort sites go and uh, uh, their further dissection of the brain uh, happens. We have a centralized laboratory and data analysis and coordinating center. This is the Brody Institute. Uh, this uh, place uh, really does uh, a lot of things, uh, among which performs the RNA sequencing, the SNP genotyping, um, takes care of coordinating this project uh, and um, 
and also performs data analysis. Uh, together with act actually a very engaged group of uh, um, geneticists, uh, statistical geneticists, um, and they basically tackle the, um, the data that have been generated, generated by GTEx. Uh, we also have, uh, as I mentioned before, a analysis study um, that is happening, and uh, um, NC NCBI is uh, managing the GTEx uh, database and the EQTL browser. In addition to this, we are planning to add a new component, which is the enhanced GTEx. And I will talk a little bit more about this later on in this presentation. So let's look at the data that are available from GTEx. So GTEx data are housed in two places. We have dbgap which has the control access data, um, such as GIP, a, a SNP um, genotyping files, as well as uh, uh, BAM files from RNA-seq. But we envision to be this place also an archive uh, sometimes in the future of all the GTEx data. We have then another uh, place where GTEx data are available, and that is the GTEx portal. It is housed at the Brody Institute. This is the URL. And this is uh, uh, being um, designed with a different uh, goal in mind, more as a, a place where um, user can go and uh, use the, the, uh, the features that are available there in a user-friendly way. And uh, there are several um, uh, ways the, the, the user can uh, look at the data, display the data, search the data. In fact, we have, I'm sorry, we have several, uh, we have an option here where there is a tab where they can uh, go to the next page and can search, for example, EQTLs, uh, either by gene or by the SNP. And, uh, um, and this is uh, also, um, the place where the other features are available, and I'll talk a little bit more later. Uh, so look at the expression data production and release. This is a graph that shows the number of cases analyzed and deposited into the big app by organ site. This is a list of organs that is, re is it, um, it's not the full list that we have. Uh, in the red box, I have uh, highlighted the uh, brain areas. And as uh, you can see here, in the dark blue bars, uh, we have uh, the number of cases deposited uh, since last November. Uh, we also have uh, in the light blue bars uh, 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 cases that will be deposited by the end of this month. And uh, the very light blue bars indicates the remaining of the pilot. So if you look at it overall, you can notice that Basically, by the end of the pilot, we will have um, the data set of the pilot basically will include um, seven sites with at least 100 donors and two sites with at least uh, um, 90 donors each. In the scale up, we are planning to sequence uh, all the samples that are coming in of enough good quality and performing um, hopefully our uh, DNA sequencing of the blood samples uh, or at least the, the, the chips that we are actually uh, doing right now. So I told you a little bit more about the data that uh, are available. Let's look at the samples now. What do we have? GTAX uh, has uh, 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 tissue that has been PAX gene fixed and frozen. We have also PAX gene fixed tissues, which has been uh, paraffin embedded and stored. And we have also some nucleic acid. We have nucleic acid. Um, the, the brain is the only organ that has not been PAX, fix, fix, PAX gene fixed, but has been it is shipped on ice from the uh, sort site to the brain bank. At the brain bank, the, um, the group there um, uh, have further dissect the brain into 1.5 centimeter slabs. And then those uh, uh, additional area together with the remaining of the brain are flash frozen and stored. 
We also have uh, uh, cell lines available. We have lymphoblastoid and fibroblast cell lines. Um, the lymphoblastoid cell line uh, are successful right now um, for 50% of the donors, whereas the fibroblasts have a higher success rate. Here you see another um, search capability of the portal at the Broad Institute where a uh, user can go after logging in and uh, uh, search for samples, basically search the inventory at the Broad. They can look at the different uh, material, different tissue site, uh, and uh, do kind of mind uh, what is available for GTEx. So now, how did we, uh, how are we making these samples available? Well, last November, the NIH issued a, um, an RFA, the Enhanced GTEx with Molecular Analysis of Stored Biospecimen RFA, this RFA has a receipt date of March 28. We expect to have a summer review done by CSR. Um, those applications will come to this council next the September for funding in early FY14. So you will see those applications. And uh, the Common Fund gave us $10 million over three years with 3.8 in FY14. So the goal of this RFA, it's really to, it's open. It's open to the most compelling ideas. So we really want the scientists to leverage the, the uh, uniqueness of GTEx and come up with ways how to add value to this resource. So with this, I would like to thank um, all the institutions that are part of uh, this uh, project for the um, great support in achieving uh, the goals that we had. And I will be happy to take questions. Sure. Could you speak just a little bit to what the LC project is like that's part of this? Sure. The LC project is really um, looking at uh, the um, um, next of kin, how you know the family has felt um, about uh, the um, um, process of consenting uh, for this program. Um, there, are, there is a, a group at the uh, um, 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 University of, um, of uh, Virginia um, Commonwealth that is uh, highly engaged in, in, in this. And uh, um, um, so we had um, um, the, the, the donors' uh, uh, families interviewed after and ask questions about the consent process, how they felt, did they understand the process, did they understand what the study was about. There are a lot of questions that um, we ask them and, uh, and we try to incorporate their suggestions in the, in, in the uh, review that we do to the consent um, process as well. Could I ask a little bit about the uh, ascertainment? Uh, what's your acceptance and your rejection criteria for donors? So donors are the, we have a few, very few criteria. Um, donors' uh, age has to be between 21 and 70 years old. We have a limit on the BMI uh, between 18 and 35. And uh, the donor have to, donors have to be free of major, major disease, among which cancer. Um, they, uh, one of the exclusion criteria, for example, is that they, can they, they couldn't receive uh, um, chemotherapy uh, in the last uh, couple of years. And we also have to think about how these donors get to GTEx. So these donors are mainly recruited through organ procurement organizations. So the criteria that stand for those basically stand also for GTEx. These are, are li living, I mean, uh, these are uh, organ transplant. Um. Some cases, most of the cases are. Some are autopsy, rapid autopsy um, cases. Do you find yourself sometimes in conflict with the organ procurement pr process? Well, this, this case go first to organ procurement organization. So if they qualify for that, then they pass and become uh, GTEx cases.
Okay, thank you very much, Simona.